On today's episode of Real Housewives of Nairobi, we got to see Sonali had a day. There was a dinner that Susan hosted, and we had Sonali, Susan, and also Lisa. The three of them, Susan, Sonali, and Lisa, took their time, sat down, and started talking about meaning. I don't know. I'm feeling like it's an obsession Susan has with Mini. Or there's something that we don't know. Or there's a beef we don't know that is causing Susan to react in this way about Mini. Anything. In short, the air Mini breathes is a sin. It's an, an offense. Like, in today's episode, I'm, I'm just going to be truthful to you guys. I really felt so much sad for Susan. Especially when she kept on mentioning... I'm here, we're here, she's, we're, we're classy, she's not classy. Like, people that have money, people that are classy, people that are rich, people that are influential and are friends, do not pride about it. They don't, they don't go around telling people, you don't need to, when you are that rich and you have money, you don't need to tell people that, oh, I am. And the fact that is that they are basing on the fact, especially Lisa, on Minnie's lateness, Please, how are they so strong on mini lateness? I think Minnie is the only person that is always late to events. Minnie is not the only person that is always late to events. She, in short, she's it's just recently after her father's death, her father in law's death, that she started coming late. But apart from that, I don't think Minnie is the one person you classify as the Number one late comma of the group. Here we have Vera. Vera is since the episode started, since episode one, and this is episode four. Vera has always come late to every single event, not one hour late, not two hours, sometimes three, four, five hours late. And the excuse they always look and give is, Oh, she's pregnant. I understand she's pregnant. But pregnancy doesn't make you always run late to every event. But they allow it slide. I feel like everybody of one, every one of them there is scared of Vera. They respect her because she's a top celebrity there in Kenya. But if somebody like Vera is coming late every event and you're not complaining, it absolutely gives them no right to complain about Mini being late. Especially when she said she 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 lost her, her father-in-law. Yes, they said she dressed up dressed up coming to the event as in i want to ask is she supposed to dress shabbily no makeup on look tattered for you to believe that okay i lost somebody and i couldn't come here on time i don't understand that because she dressed nice in a nice outfit did her hair you know still tried to be there for the party you are taking an offense and i'm pretty sure that if she had also not taken care of herself dressed shabbily come anyhow they will still talk that is human being for you. Human beings are not satiable. So I don't understand why these ladies are just like taking it personal. At this moment, I, I think I'm going to get more upset anytime Lisa mentions about this late coming. If she mentions about this late coming again, I'll get upset. As in, since episode one, I'll be hearing, I'm the earliest, everybody's late. I'm the earliest, everybody's late. Please, we know. We know about that. Thank you. In today's episode, we also got to see the baby, you know, announcement, the gender reveal of Vera's baby. And she has been hoping for a boy. So I'm literally happy that she actually got to have a boy. Like, she was, you could literally see the joy in her face. So I'm happy that she actually is having a boy. And I wish her well. Like, I love her. Like, she's beautiful. She's sexy. Like, she, she knows what she has. Like, she's up there. Like, I, I love Vera and I love her attitude for now in the show. I, I just love everything about her. And I wish her safe delivery. If she has not been given birth because we don't know when they start shooting. But I just hope everything goes well for her and her baby. I already love her. I'm already anticipating, waiting for them to actually announce about the baby's birth. Moving along, this is Miss Minnie coming unusually late. Like... When she came this late, I was like, oh, there's gonna be drags. And she came in not scared, not, f I said, not fear. Like, you know, there's this thing about it. If I come late, let me just hide my face. No, she came 
with her face up high, looking at everybody. I'm not scared of what they're going to see. And I'm like, ha, ah, man, I want to have the confidence that she has. She literally went in there and acted as if she didn't come late. She went and created a celebrant that is Vera, you know, and sat down, sipping, sipping on a champagne, eating food. And the other ladies were just there murmuring, talking. You shouldn't be late. Lisa especially, you shouldn't be late. You shouldn't be late. Like, Please, I don't want to hear you shouldn't be late again. I'm literally tired of hearing that word, you shouldn't be late. Literally very tired. Now, after the end of the day, we had these ladies come together to talk. That is Lisa, Susan, Vera, and Minnie. Because Sonali was not around. She was not in the country, so she could not be in the event. Now, I don't know. Susan is pissing me off. Like, she mentioned her age. She had to point out, oh, Lisa, you are 50-something. Oh, me, I am 40-something. Vera, you are you're in your mid-30s. And you were just a kid. Who is she? How is she? I like how many answer. I'm not your kid. I'm not a kid. I'm not your kid. So don't call me a kid. Like, that was so condescending of Susan. Very, very condescending, and I don't like where she's coming from. Like, at first it was funny, but now it's entering insults. Talking about how she's here, and they're here, she's a kid, she's always acting. Even called her fake. Nobody literally likes being called fake. And the fact that she called her fake, and she was like, please don't call me that again. No, she was like, don't call me that again. And she was like, oh, if I call you that, are you going to beat me up? For her to take it to the part of beat me up. That is that was so condescending from um Susan's POV. That was very condescending. And I literally, if I was amongst the ladies sitting down there, no matter if it's my friend, I'm like, girl, you're reaching, you're you're going overboard. She did not offend you. The only person I felt like talked to Minnie in a good tone was Vera. And as literally, if I'm Minnie, the only person I will listen to was Vera because she came with me with a cool tone, listened to me, talked to me calmly. You don't talk to people and start adding insult and, you know, adding injury, making it look as if they are nothing. I love what many told Sandra, Susan, sorry. If I am down here, why are you, you that you're up there, why are you talking to rubbish? Why would you bring yourself from up where you are to come and talk to me that is down here? Like, why, why would she, is she flaunt her riches and make it as if Minnie is a nobody like i i literally don't like this kind of people and if it's how sandra is coming off like susan is coming off like a very proud person and i don't like that personality but i'm just gonna give it a few more episodes let's just see i'm gonna give it a few more episodes to see whether susan will finally come to her normal senses and be like oh i fucked up and i apologize because now at first it looked as if Minnie was the aggressor or she was coming in in one way but now it's literally looking as if susan is just being a hater and she just wants to come and pounce off on Minnie. and she's using the fact that they have the age difference if you were there like when she said that i'm here you're here and i was like all of you were all casted for the same show so at this moment you're on the same level nobody is here nobody is there all of you are on the same level period dot ended that's just it well if i just really enjoyed the show don't forget to like and comment on our videos and also subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel like and comment on this video so that it will be recommended turn on the post notification so you get notified when we upload a video and we'll always come here and talk about the real housewives of nairobi i know all of us are enjoying it because i am enjoying the show it's giving what it's supposed to give i'll see you guys next week